How you feeling, man? Better. 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 I mean, a lot of people know you as being like a master of arpeggios and effects. Oh yeah, and being all happy. Yeah. You know. You seem kind of bluesy. Oh. Today. Most certainly. What's, like what's going I'm on? Most certainly. What's blues. happening? Well, man, you know, I went to uh, uh, to get my coffee, you know, and at uh, that real like upscale. Oh yeah. Third wave coffee place. You know, yeah, I can't pronounce that name, but you yeah. know what I'm talking about. It's just a symbol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it? Is that? So that's just it. So you don't call it. Yeah, you just reference. Reference that it's there. That it's there. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I went. You know, I went to get my my locally sourced. You know, ridiculously organic cold brew. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> like any other day. Yeah. So I'm leaving. I'm taking a sip. Without question, cashew milk. <sighs> I asked for coconut milk. I mean, I get they both start with C. Uh huh. Cashew milk. Like, have you ever seen a coconut? Yeah, exactly. Sir? They're a lot different than cashews. I'd say. I'd say right. so. Yeah. So, I mean, I was pretty bummed out. I definitely had blues. And I went home and, you know, I wrote this turnaround. Let's hear it. Yeah. So. Oh. Got them cashew blues right there. It's cashew blues. <laughs> <laughs> Can you teach us how to do that? Yeah, absolutely. And so, a progression that maybe goes with it? Oh, that's so... You know what? I happen to have both of those. I love it. Yeah, I'm capable. Yeah. Let's right. hear the whole thing. Let's hear the whole thing. So, okay. So the whole thing is... Right, but obviously I got cheered, you know, I mean, I, I definitely was upset and I had the blues, but, you know, I had the, the cold brews, the caffeine. It's a little more upbeat. Sure. But I definitely still had the, the coconuts. Coconuts, not, you know. You know yeah. It's not cashew's blues. not bad. Yeah. Cashew's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Lots of calories. Right. Yeah. So. So it kind of ended up, it was blues, but it was a silver lining. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. The silver lining, cashew blues. That's right. Okay, so you, you want to run through the uh, turnaround first? Let's do the turnaround first. Okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so... What we're doing in this turnaround is we're starting with an open A string, right? And then we, we, we kind of mute it, so like, with this little pause. And, and at the end, uh, which is implying an A chord, right? And then at the end with this, uh, we're implying uh, an E chord, which is the five. So we're implying mm-hmm. that we're going to come back. So our, and, that's, and that's the job of a turnaround, by the way. That's yeah? right. Lead you back to the beginning. That's right. So Yeah. So our pinky is not going to move, okay? And... and uh, it's going to stay on the fifth fret of the high E string the whole time. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to chromatically walk from the fifth fret of the D string up to the second fret of the D string, right? So it sounds like this A with a pause. So you can hear that I am using my middle finger, right, and my pick to pinch the D string and the high E string at the same time. My pinky's not moving. My uh, uh, my other fingers are walking chromatically, and then we're gonna hit an open string on the G string, hammer onto the first fret of the G string, and then hit that high E. Okay. If you want to, uh, once you're better with it, you can hit the B and the E string because it like there's your E major, but you know. That's that's more of a flavor, you know. For now, you want to try to not make extra noise on the B string. So I like it, right? So there's the turnaround, mm-hmm. and I like that that A, like having your pinky on that A when you do the walk, kind of grounds it in A. Yeah? That's right. Yeah. So there's like a little bit of like, okay, I'm on an A. I start with an A. I've got this flavor of A sticking there, but I'm also moving away. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, and then you finally get to it. Uh, that's right. And that's why it's kind of like creating this whole blues atmosphere. That's right. And so, <clears throat> you know, for me, uh, depending on the the style of, of rhythm that I'm playing, I like to move bass lines and things like that. So mm-hmm. this chord progression, we have um, three half steps basically that we're walking down every time. Yep. Uh, although the third being the root of the the new chord, right? Mm-hmm. So You're chromatically getting to where you need to go. Right. So with no actual strumming rhythm, uh, we have an A uh, A major seven, right, which is an open A string, uh, second fret on the D string, open G string, second fret of the B string. You can leave the high A E dominant open. Seven. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 A dominant seven. Uh, you can leave the high E open, or you can 
reach and hit the third again with your pinky on the on third fret. So Whatever your blues is telling you to do. Right, right, right. So from here, we're going to move to an F sharp dominant seven. And the, the chromatic walk starts at G sharp, which is the uh, fourth fret here, the low E string, right? And then we're going to just walk down, right? So four, three, two. Right, so we have um, the second fret, the fourth fret, right? So second fret of low E, fourth fret of the A string, second fret of the D string, and then the um, third fret of the G string, and then these two, still the second fret, right, of the high E B. So we have. So since our ring finger is right here, right, uh, on the uh, fourth fret of the uh, A string, we're gonna walk it back, right? So. Right, so again, four, three, two. And then we're gonna play a really simple three note little triad. It's a uh, B7, B Every, dominant seven. Everyone's favorite. Right? You can add the nine if you want. You can add the you know, sharp nine, you do whatever you want. Um, but for me in this chord progression, I personally just like this, right? So it's second fret of the A string, first fret of the D string, second fret of the G string. So, so far we have A dominant seven. To the low E, we're going to play this F sharp, and we're going to go F sharp, which is the second fret, F, which is the first fret, open, which is E, and then E7, E7, right? There you go. It's the same exact shape uh, as this F dominant seven. Right? Mm -hmm. So to move back towards the turnaround, we're going to play F sharp, uh, G sharp, and then that open A string, right? Yeah. So Just instead of walking, it. yeah, instead of walking chromatically, we're, you know. If you want to, you could. Uh, you could. If you want to keep the chromatics, but hey, you're, you, you know, you're a right. complex man. That's right. Yeah, it changes it's up. It's not all the same. Huh? Right. And also, I feel like when you use, when you, you know, do this, you can kind of swing it like. And that's the point, is that. With yep. that little beat, you know. Go. Oh. Right, exactly. Into and then it. right into the turn Turn that baby around. So we have. I mean, you talk to the manager, though. Oh, without that. Dude, mm -hmm. yeah, $40 gift card. Oh, yeah. Told nice. him I was allergic to nuts. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's good for, like, two oh, coffees yeah. there. Oh, right? yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, you know, I tip, so it's good for, like, mm. you know, you got to tip, like, $6. That's it's beautiful. Yeah. I'd like a true bluesman. Yeah, that's if right. If there ever was one. That's right. Right here.